Hello friends, here in this video, we will see a problem on how to calculate the pressure at a point in a pipeline by using differential manometer. So for that, we have a problem here. I will mark this question. A differential manometer is connected at two points A and B as shown in figure. The diagram is given. At point B, the air pressure is 9.81 Newton per centimeter square. Find absolute pressure of point A. So this is the question which we have. Based on this question, we have to write the data. Now, here as we see in this diagram, we can see that at A at B, there are two different pipes. And to that pipes, a differential YouTube manometer is connected. On the left hand side, we are having oil whose specific gravity is 0 0.9. On the right hand side, we have water as well as air. Next, here we have mercury whose specific gravity is given as 13.6. Now, this is the data which we have. Here, the question is to find the absolute pressure at point A. It means we have to find the pressure of oil. So, here pressure at point A, this is the question for us. Now, when we have to calculate the pressure at point A, we should know the pressure at point B. Then only we can calculate it. As we see in this question, the air pressure is given. So, the pressure of air on the right, right limb, it is, I will write down pressure of air p suffix air is equal to 9.81 newton per centimeter square or it is 9.81 into 10 raised to 4 newton per meter square now we have to solve this question so i'll write the solution for this since Here, for differential YouTube manometer, we have to balance or we have to equate both the sides of the differential YouTube manometer. That is, we have to differ, we have to equate the left limb and the right limb. That is pressure equation. So first, I'll write down. Since total pressure in the left limb is given by in the left limb as we can see here we have oil as well as mercury so first there is pressure of oil in the pipeline that i'll indicate it as p suffix a because it is in pipeline a next oil is filled up to 20 centimeter height as we can see so because of the 20 centimeter height of oil there is even pressure exerted by this so it has to be written so i'll write down plus rho g into the height of oil which is there so here i have density of a that is oil next in the left limb we even have mercury up to 10 centimeters so even pressure is there because of the mercury column so it should be written as plus rho g into h this is for mercury so i am writing suffix m here this much is the total pressure in the left hand side now i will calculate the values here i will say that therefore this would be p a is what we have to calculate plus rho a now since oil specific gravity is given it is 0 0.9 so density of oil would be 900 because it is 0 0.9 multiplied by 1000 that is the density of water. So we can calculate density of oil that becomes 900 kg per meter cube. So I will put this value in rho A 900 into 9.81 multiplied by H. Now H for oil it is 20 centimeters so in meter it would be 0 0.2 so here i have into 0 
प्लस डेंसिटी ऑफ मर्क्यूरी इज थर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज अ स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू वी हैव टू रिमेंबर देन नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इन टू हाइट ऑफ मर्क्यूरी इज अप टू टेन सेंटीमीटर एज वी कैन सी इन द लेफ्ट लिम सो दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन मीटर सो फ्रॉम दिस आई विल गेट इट एज पी ए प्लस इफ आई कैलकुलेट द वैल्यूज यर दिस वुड बी थर्टीन थाउजेंड थ्री फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस द वैल्यू हियर इट वुड बी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट एट सो दिस इज द टोटल प्रेशर इन द लेफ्ट लिम हियर आई इक्वेट इट आई कॉल दिस एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नो सिमिलरली आई विल कैलकुलेट द टोटल प्रेशर इन the right limb i'll say that now total pressure in the right limb now as we see in the right limb we have only air and water no mercury is there so pressure of air that is p suffix air plus the pressure of water Water is up to a height of sixty centimeter, as we can see from this datum. So this becomes zero point six meter. So I'll write the pressure exerted by water. That is rho of water into g. Its height is zero point six. So therefore, here I'll put the values. Pressure of air is given in the question. It is nine point eight one into ten raised to four. Plus density of water is thousand. We know the value into nine point eight one into zero point six. So from this, if I calculate, therefore, I'll have the value as it is one point zero four into ten raised to four. This value, I'll keep this as equation number second. Now, once I have equation one and two, I will equate both of them and get the value of pressure at point A. So here I'll say that therefore, equating equations one and two. So therefore, here I will be having the value as P A plus thirteen thousand three forty one point six plus One seven six five point eight is equal to the value on right hand side one point zero four into ten raised to four. Now from this, if I calculate, that is, I would be shifting these term onto the other side. They would be becoming negative, and my final answer it comes out to be. It is eight. It is eighty eight point eight eight. Into ten raised to three newton per meter square. This is my answer. Means this much pressure is there in pipeline A. That is the pressure of oil. So here, if we see in this question, they were telling us to calculate find the absolute pressure at point A. So the absolute pressure at point A is nothing but pressure of oil. and that we have calculated it the answer is 88.88 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so in this video we have seen how to calculate absolute pressure of any liquid by using differential youtube manometer